Hey everybody. Uh, tonight we're going to do a little bit of work on my 125 here. I think I'm just going to bust out a quick water change on it. And while I'm in there, the main thing I want to do is clear away some of that floating water sprite. It's just getting out of control in this tank. If we come over and have a look at it a little more closely, uh, you can see where it's just getting so thick and dense in there that light is not getting in. All these roots down towards this end are roots from babies and additional growth that's starting to get thicker and thicker in there. And then of course on this end we've got the same thing. We've got all this new growth and all those roots. They're starting to grow into where my um, spray bar is. And then of course we have all of the plant material in the middle. So what I'm going to do is get in there and actually trim by hand, piece by piece, I'm going to select the stuff I want removed and I'm going to leave uh, what I want to stay. And hopefully we're going to end up with a nice, lush, green, beautiful plant, but open enough that it actually allows some light to get down through the tank. So I'm not going to shoot a lot of video while I'm actually working. In fact, I'm probably not going to shoot any at all. Uh, we're just going to have a nice little before and after look here. So sit tight, let me get to work, and we'll see what she looks like when she's all done. Alright, now as big of a difference as that makes, it would have been even uh, a starker contrast if I had actually gotten in there and done the water change. Uh, it's just too late at night, I didn't bother uh, worrying about it, I'm going to be turning the lights off here shortly, so the tank's not even fully cleared out yet, the water's still a little... Uh, a little bit debris strewn from all the work I was doing in there. I wound up cutting out way more than I expected to. Uh, both uh, a couple of little accidents I had. One was cutting the wrong branch, which wound up removing uh, more or less the main branch down the length of the tank. We have one all the way in the back of the tank now, but the main branch through the center is gone. Uh, I painstakingly removed all those babies and then I reached in to cut what I thought was going to be that back branch and I wound up cutting the entire branch off the middle which was the one that went down almost the length of the tank. I also removed that forward branch but if you see that one it looks weird it looks abrupt and shut off or cut off that's actually sticking up out of the water it's a brand new um, piece of growth that's coming out and I'm going to train it down lengthwise and that will become the replacement piece for the one I accidentally cut off. So when we got to this end I wound up cutting the main branch that I wanted to cut that went towards the back. I actually missed a couple babies in there as you can see. Um, but instead of pulling from the end and out this direction I grabbed it from the end I cut and pulled back through the plant towards the center of the root mass and the big branch I cut off wound up curling uh, all the stuff that came with it and I wound up snapping off quite a few of the other branches this stuff's not really super flexible it is soft but if you try to bend it too much it will break very easily so once again I teased a ton of uh, babies out of there I trimmed a bunch of branches out of the middle and I had it looking really nice and shapely and then I cut the wrong, you know, the correct branch, but I just pulled it out in a very incorrect way and wound up doing a lot more damage. I had to get in there and trim a bunch of broken branches off. But the upshot is this stuff grows really fast, especially if it's got plenty of nutrients. And my tanks usually have such high uh, levels of organics because of my stocking density that this water sprite just grows like crazy. So that's all I did uh, in this tank today. I have done quite a bit of other stuff here in the fish room. So if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of the videos I shot today. I think this is my fifth one today. Uh, I've been on a roll. So I've got a new uh, filter installed in my gudgeon tank. I bought a new external canister filter. So that is in. I uh, did not shoot a video of it, but we will get some video looking at the tank and how it looks different now that it's got a new filter on it. So that will be coming up real soon. So again, if you're subscribed, you won't miss any of this. So thanks for watching this one. I'll see you real soon on the next one.